Hi guys, today we're gonna do another vlog style version of Food with Daddy and we're gonna be making spaghetti squash. I recently had spaghetti squash for the first time. Um, my roommate Hannah made it for me and it was really good. So I wanna show you guys because it's really easy and it's basically like eating spaghetti except you're not eating all the carbs, you're eating squash. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make it, it's really easy. First you need to get a spaghetti squash and I got kind of a small one but you can definitely, they have bigger ones if you wanna get a big one. And this is what they look like. They're kind of cute. And they're very, they're perfect for fall, I think. So that's why I also wanted to cook it now. So there are basically two ways that you can cook the squash. You can cook it in the oven or you can cook it in the microwave. I feel that when you cook something in the oven, it tends to maintain more of its taste. I feel like it loses, it gets like a little bit of a microwave taste when you microwave it. Uh, but it's not that big of a difference. And I'm going to microwave mine today because it saves you a lot of time. And also, if you live in a dorm and you don't have an oven, it's very easy to cook it in the microwave. Uh, so if you're cooking it in the oven, you're going to put it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to cut the squash in half and clear out all the seeds. And then coat each of the sides with olive oil. Not the skin, just like the exposed side. And then you're going to bake it for 50 minutes. Now, if you make it in the microwave, you can just cook it for 10 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And you kind of cook it like a baked potato. So I'm going to stab several holes into it just so it doesn't explode while it's in the microwave. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the microwave on high for about 10 minutes. Excuse my dirty microwave. <laughs> While your squash is cooking in the microwave, you can go ahead and start with the other ingredients. And you're going to dice two cloves of garlic, which I'm doing right now. And you're also gonna dice one shallot. If you guys don't know what a shallot is, just basically a small onion with a specific taste. And you can find it right next to the other onions. So I'm gonna dice that up as well. Now I have my garlic and my shallot onion all cut up. And I am crying from the onion <laughs> every time. My eyes water so badly, I always forget to wash it. But my squash is just about done. Once it's done, you're gonna pull it out and it's going to be extremely hot. So you're gonna let it cool down for a second before you cut it in half. There it is. After the squash is cooled down, you can cut it in half and then scoop out all of the mushy seeds from the inside. That's what I'm doing right here. After you scoop all the seeds out, here comes the coolest part. Uh, you can switch from a spoon, get a fork, and then start scraping at the sides of the squash and it'll turn into spaghetti. It's crazy, watch. Maybe you guys have already seen this. I was just amazed when I saw it for the first time. It's just become spaghetti. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but basically you get the idea. So scrape all of that and then put that into a separate bowl. Make sure you get every little last piece of it. All right, those guys are gutted pretty well. I put all the insides into the bowl. Looks just like spaghetti. And now I'm gonna start a pan of oil. You're just gonna put it on medium high heat and then kind of coat the bottom with oil, about two tablespoons. And then you're gonna add your garlic and your shallot onion. You're gonna go ahead and season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then you can go ahead and add your squash. You can add a little more olive oil on top and then just cook it for another three minutes. You really just want to soak up all the flavors of the onion and the garlic. After three minutes, you can take it off and serve it. It's great if you can top it off with a little grated Parmesan cheese. But if not, you can use the type from a can. And that's really all it is. It's super simple and it's really delicious. 
easy and inexpensive to make. I'm gonna enjoy this right now. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and join me next Wednesday for, I'm not sure what I'm making yet, but it'll be a surprise. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next week.